Let's just say that Zach Wilson has had a heck of the last few months. But you know what? It's made the upcoming season much more interesting than anyone could have ever imagined. After two pretty run-of-the-mill seasons at BYU, no one expected much of anything from Zach Wilson as a junior. And yet he did his thing. Wilson rolls, feels the pressure, deep heave, and what a catch! I don't know if his best friend's mom was watching him or what, but somehow Zach went from average to one of the most impressive quarterbacks in all of college football. He passed for about as many yards and a dozen or so more touchdowns than the other two years combined, making him a star overnight. Over the course of only one season, Zach went from an unknown Mountain West quarterback to the second overall pick, and along with it came a metric ton of hype. The New York Jets select Zach Wilson, quarterback, BYU. Following one of the most insane rises in college football history, the football world was curious about how well Zach would perform on the next level. And well, third down and four, the time inside, Wilson, intercepted, third of the day. After a decent performance against Carolina in week one, Zach passed six straight picks over the course of the next two games and wasn't able to do much of anything the rest of the season. His 2300 yards and 28 QBR were both ranked 30th in the league, along with a lackluster 11 picks to an underwhelming 9 touchdowns. Needless to say, the performance was a bit of a letdown and caused many to automatically write off Zach as a bust. A bit of a harsh reaction to the typical underwhelming rookie season. But the main reason it was so intense is because he's one of the biggest markets in football. To put it in perspective, Josh Allen had a similar stat line with the worst completion percentage and wasn't talked about 10% as much as Zach. And I mean, that was before all this crazy stuff. Things quieted down for Zach and the Jets after the season ended, until around a week ago when his ex accused him of sleeping with his mom's friend. A bit of a loaded statement, so I think it would be best to start from the very beginning of all this. Zach Wilson dated his now ex, Abby Guile, since high school, until they ended up splitting earlier this year. And if you fast forward a few months, turns out his college roommate and current commander's wideout, Dax Milani, is now with her. The photos that came out of the two had some calling her a homie hopper, and pushed her far enough to accuse Zach of sleeping with his mom's friend. No one's specific, and it's still a mystery, but the statement alone was enough to set the football world on fire. A lot of crazy stuff has happened over the last few years, but a second overall pick sleeping with his mom's friend is pretty insane. Although his former friend and Zach blocked comments on the post, and his ex deleted her insta, the damage had already been done as Zach quickly became the most talked about player in the league, and it didn't stop there. Some of his teammates even joined in, with recent Jets pickup CJ Uzama wearing a Zach Wilson Man of the Year t-shirt to training camp. So needless to say, although he hasn't done much of anything impressive on the football field, Zach was still able to earn GOAT status overnight. It's a month later, and the hype is still very much real around Zach for everything outside of football. There's still quite a few questions surrounding the validity of the whole sleeping with his mom's friend situation. And along with that, this happened. And wow! He could have elected for the sideline, but instead he dives ahead near midfield. Give him a gain of seven. In the limited time that Zach played in the Jets' preseason game against Philly, he suffered what was said to be a bone bruise and a meniscus tear. The initial timeline was a two to four week recovery period if all things went well. And since it supposedly did, he could potentially be able to start by week one. But if not, good old Super Bowl champ Joe Flacco may get some reps, which might actually be a good thing considering that many have suggested that he'll do much better than Zach. With all this in mind, I gotta say it's been a bit of a rough last few months for the former BYU star, but I think it may just be the push he needs to do his thing in New York. Or maybe he just has to play in front of his mom's friend. A lot of time, directing traffic, gonna go deep, has a man deep, it is caught for the touchdown! Thanks for watching this silly little video. Hopefully you have a great day, and I'll see you guys next time.